guys, welcome back to another video on the channel, and today we are playing some more Woodmill Inc. And in this video, I'm actually going to be testing out the new blueprints. So, in this recent update, they have removed almost 80% of all the blueprints, and have left this very, very tiny amount. I do not know why. They have also removed this thing from my inventory as well, so I need to rebuy it again. I've got myself a bit more money from what I had in the last episode. If you remember, I spent it all trying to buy the car. But let's buy this. Thank you for your purchase. Come again. Thank you very much. Let's open the box and pick it up. There we go. And now we've got a new blueprint menu, which is blue instead of blue the orange type of colour. And now we're going to purchase a tile and see what we're able to do with it. Apparently we're able to scale the tiles into different sizes. I'm not too sure about that but we're going to test that out. Hello. So I'm back at my base now and we're going to pick up the tile and open it. There we go. And now it should be inside of our blueprints menu. We're going to click on the tile. And what does this do? Hmm. Mm. Let's press that. Okay. We're not able to move around. And now we are. Okay. Ooh. Place. <gasps> oh. What does this do? <gasps> oh. You can scale the tiles. How big can you scale it? So there is a size on how big you can scale the tiles. That is the biggest you can scale it to. And what about width? You can make your own blocks in the game. Oh, that's cool. And actually, I have something that some guy just randomly left on my base. I don't know what happened, but they must have mistakenly put it through my sawmill. But I have a new piece of wood. So this is one of the newer pieces of wood. It's a completely black piece of wood. You can get this at the volcano. It is all the way up in the hills, all the way up at the top, and then you'll find a big, massive entrance. If you don't know where it is, you can check out my last video, and it will show you how to get there. But since then, they have also added fire damage. So if you're inside of the volcano, you will start to take uh, damage from the heat and yeah so back to the tile situation we're able to place it back down and it basically just allows you to it just comes up like this by default and using the RT button you're able to drag it along are you able to drag it no you're not able to put it down you're only able to put it up not down hmm and if we was to make it like this yeah and then like this right let's place it yeah now we have ourselves our own block can we fill it that's only five percent what was I thinking can we fill it with this that's still five percent well looks like we're not able to fill it but that is how you can use the blueprints and I presume it is the same with all other blueprints as it came up by default. I didn't have to open any menus or anything. So I don't have enough money to actually get another blueprint. Should we get another blueprint? Let's get another blueprint. Oh look, there's a missing car and a missing person. The car is actually missing too. That is really, really weird. Remember, the game is still in alpha version, so there are going to be bugs. You can't expect it to be fully polished as soon as it's released, because that's not how development works. But I think this like branch is enough to get us to above $80, and we're able to test another blueprint.
What is that? There's another invisible car. With black wood just flying. <laughs> it's now flying across the map. Okay, I think there's a bug with cars spawning now. But we're able to buy another tile. What tile should we buy? We're actually going to buy the corner wedge because that is not a cube and it is just a different shape. And we're going to be able to see what we can do with it. So, hi, do you want to purchase this corner wedge for 80? Yes, and now we've got $20 change and we're going to just go back to our base and do the same thing again. So we're back at our base, we're going to destroy this blueprint and destroy structure and we're going to create a corner wedge and let's see what we're able to do with this thing. So let's place it down here and same thing again, you get the special little uh, adjustable things and you're able to adjust the corner wedge to whatever size you like. Let's say I want it like this and then I want it fat like that. There we go. That is the big, it's basically like tile saving technology. It's basically what they've implemented here and I agree with it. I think it's a good change but it's something that everyone's gonna have to get used to. But anyway guys, that is it for today's video. If you did like this video, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you wanna see more videos like this on me and the channel, then just turn the notifications on because that way you'll get all the notifications you need about Woodmill Inc. And in 16 hours, by the way, we will be having the full release of the game and I will be releasing videos like hell because uh, there will be a lot to uh, talk about in this game now. But anyway, I shall see you guys in the next video.